This is the um, AP problem number two. It's a cathode ray, a CRT problem with SUVOT and everything. And it's going to be, there's going to be one like this on the, um, the test. So that's why you're watching this, right? So here are these plates. These guys are, can I answer that later? These plates are 0 0.01 meters apart. And an electron is flying by at uh, three times 10 to the seventh meters per second. Okay. And then there's a voltage of of 200 volts across this thing. This side's the positive side. And then the negative side. Okay. So, uh, and then there's, you know, they, they show a screen at some distance here. This thing is 0 0.04 meters long, right? And then it's a centimeter across, right? Um, so the, uh, Oops, what am I doing? This is 0 0.05, sorry. I'm starting to look at, I'm looking at this problem over here. 0 0.05, 0 0.01, three times 10 to the, so this electron is flying this way, right? Three times 10 to the seventh meters per second. So the first question is determine the magnitude of the electric field in the region between the plates, indicate its direction on the figure above. Well, the direction's easy. What would positive charge do? Positive charge is gonna go down, right? From positive to negative. Right, and then A, calculate the, the, um, the electric field. I'm gonna use E is equal to negative delta V over delta X. This is a minus sign that I generally disregard uh, because I know the direction of it, right? So it's 200 volts divided by 0 0.01 meters, right? And that's gonna be 20,000 volts per meter, right? And that is our answer, yeah, two times 10 to the fourth volts per meter, right? And then the next thing says, determine the magnitude and direction of the acceleration of the electron in the region between the plates. So for B, I'm actually gonna use two relationships. One is E equals F over Q, right? So therefore F equals EQ. And then I'm also gonna use F equals MA. So this is our force, EQ is our force. That's gonna equal MA, right? So I can just say uh, EQ equals MA. Yeah, okay. And now I'm all set. The electric field is 20,000. And that's also Newtons per Coulomb, right? An electron has a charge of 1.602 times 10 to the minus 19th Coulombs, right? And then that equals the mass of the electron. You got to look that up. It's 9.11. Do they tell us that? They must have that in some table, right? Times 10 to the minus 31st kilograms. And then we can find the acceleration. So finally, I've got to, got to crack out a calculator. Okay, so I'm going to go uh, 20,000 times 1.602. E minus 19 uh, divided by 9.11 E minus 31, right? And this is going to be a lot of acceleration. So this is 3.517 times 10 to the 15th meters per second squared, right? And I'm going to store that thing. I'm going to store it in alpha A because I'm going to use that again. I don't want, I don't want to round it, right? So and I'm, I'm actually recording. Okay, this is good. Okay, so that is, um, that is the B, determine the magnitude and direction of the acceleration. Uh, and so the direction of the acceleration is actually, if the electric field's down, the electron is negative. So it's actually gonna be attracted up, right? It's gonna accelerate upward, okay? Right? And then it says, uh, determine the magnitude of the vertical displacement of the electron for the time interval during which it moves through the region between the plates, right? So now, once you have acceleration, we can do this. Horizontal, vertical. And it's just like projectile motion, only it's got a, a wee bit more acceleration, right? Whoops. <laughs> okay, I can't talk. And so horizontally, it's not accelerating anymore because it's just 
flying this way and the field is actually perpendicular to it. Vertically though, it's accelerating at positive 3.517 times 10 to the 15th meters per second, right? This velocity, this three times 10 to the seventh is our velocity here. And of course, these guys are always equal, so it's three times 10 to the seventh meters per second. Horizontally, we have to go 0 0.05 meters, which it's gonna do that really fast, right? Okay. Vertically, we don't know. We know that the separation is 0 0.01 meters. We used it to calculate our electric field, but it doesn't mean that the particle's gonna go 0 0.01 meters. So this is what we're actually trying to find. I'm gonna say that since it's going horizontally, that it's, this is zero. So this is actually a cliff problem, only it's in some strange way accelerating upward, right? Okay. And so now I just have to suva. Remember, this side's really easy. It's always just S equals UT. But, I mean, it's plus one half AT squared, but A is zero, so that term's always zero, right? So T is gonna be this divided by this. So, so um, 0 0.05 divided by the answer that I've got on my calculator, which is that, this number. Whoops, no it's not, no it's not. <laughs> divided by three times 10 to the seventh. Okay, there we go, now we're in good shape. Okay, I'm gonna store that in alpha T, if I can find T on this crazy thing, there's T. And this is 1.6666 times 10 to the minus ninth seconds, right? And then of course time goes across 1.66666 times 10 to the minus ninth seconds, right? Um, the final velocity, I don't really care. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna leave it at this thing, right? Um, but, well maybe I do, maybe I care. This displacement right here is gonna be, I'm gonna use one FAT squared. Right, the initial velocity is zero, so that term goes away. So S is one half A, which is 3.517 E15, right? And then T is 1.6666 E minus nine squared, right? So now I'm gonna type that in 0.5 times. And I'm gonna go, what did I put that in? Did I put it in alpha A? I did if I was smart, yeah, I think I did. Alpha A times alpha T squared. And I get that S equals 0 0.00488 meters, right? And the answer that, it, that they give is um, determine the magnitude of the vertical displacement uh, of the electron for the time interval during which it moves through the region between the plates uh, and so 4.9 times 10 to the minus third meters, which, there we go, right? Okay. And then it says, uh, sketch the path of the electron. What you want to do is sketch, if it comes in here, right? Let's draw plates again, right? The path is going to be, if it's in between these plates, right? It's going to go, right? It's almost going to hit that plate. It should be a curve, it should get more steep as it goes. I mean, it should be like a, kind of a, a parabola upside down like that, um, as good as we can, right? That's actually not very good here, right? So I guess it's, what is this, more, right? Like that? How's that?